so I was asked if there was a lightweight uh, wallet from my previous uh, tutorial so I decided to make a tutorial about the Pyvex D and the CLI alright so first of all um, well from your downloads uh, you can just uh, copy paste those two executable um, dot exe fi uh, files and yeah so first of all what you want to do is um, well double click on pyvexd.exe and then you should get uh, an error right here uh, that's hello alright and this error right here says you need rpc user and rpc password so what you can do is go here uh, properties quick edit mode and then um, double click on it again and then you can just double tap or double click right click and then you can close it alright so from here once you uh, copied it and you want to ask you to copy it It'll just do it by the way alright you go to um, app um, the pyvex alright you come here and then you open your pyvex.com file uh, no I don't give a shit alright alright pyvex.conf alright and then you just paste the uh, the public user and private password alright and then control s to save and then you can close this alright uh, then from here you can just open the pyvex.dn it'll just open this blank cmd uh, window and then from here uh, the wallet is open and is currently running but what do I do if I want to check my information on my wallet? Well, that's where you get that's where you get the lightweight part, and where you need the RPC password and user. Uh, you need to use a CLI one. But if you may notice, if you double tap on pyvex.cli, it'll just open and close. So what the heck do I do? Well, you have two ways of doing it, but only one way that works efficiently so what you want to do is open your explorer and then you want to open your powershell so powershell alright windows powershell uh, right click and then run as animator it's not necessary but meh why not ok so from here uh, you can do um, backslash and then cd uh, I think it's uh, actually it's a uh, user uh, no alright um, cd alright let's do just there alright oh users alright cd users um, cd sean um, cd desktop Alright, so once you're on your desktop, you can do D again, and then you can see here pyvex.cli.exe. So at this point, what you want to do is dot slash pyvex sla uh, dash cli, and then from here you can do um, different um, comments. You can do uh, get balance, so I'll display your balance right here. So as you can see here, I have 231 uh, Pyvex. Uh, you can do get info. Alright, so version, uh, protocol version, uh, TX fee, relay fee, stacking status. Uh, and then, or right, by the way, you can just play with uh, the up down arrow keys uh, to facilitate your uh, navigation through the comments um, and when you're not sure what which command to use can just type help uh, sorry I press cat by accident alright uh, 
help. And it'll display all the RPC comments can do. So as you can see here, alright, wallet, um, backup wallet, uh, get wallet info, import, send from, send from account, and then yeah, that's pretty much it. You can just go through those comments if you're, uh, it's the same thing with Linux, if you're familiar with it. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much what it, what there is to know about the lightweight version of the wallet. Uh, it's just make sure to go in the right directory where you can find podx-cli um, that you set it your uh, that you set it your um, RPC user and RPC password in your product of conf uh, file right here like this and yeah that's about what there is to know if you, s if you don't know how to set up your wallet uh, by syncing it properly and f uh, fast you can go see my previous tutorial I explained I am explaining how to do it and yeah that's pretty much it uh, you can experiment you can go to the slack um, uh, slack channel for help if you need help for anything and yeah that's pretty much it and if you like what I do if you like those tutorials uh, please can donate right here it uh, actually it helps me to keep doing those those tutorials. Thanks for watching, and hope to see you again in the next video. Goodbye.